Hey guys. So we are at Ringling um, Mansion and Museum, looking around, um, scouting out some locations. And with Great Gatsby on the brain because of the book club, I just wanted to talk to you about this house because it's ginormous and beautiful and on the bay and it might even be more beautiful than Gats how Gatsby's house was. And it's crazy just walking around here because it's now a museum, but it used to actually be your house. Like what if that was your statue bay? <laughs> Hello. So at Ringling they have the beautiful rose garden of Mabel Ringling and every single one has a different name and it's crazy how many varieties they are. It's really cut back right now, but usually these are big. I love roses. I could smell every single one here. I told James to take pictures of every single flower here for me. That's cutie. Hang on a minute, guys. This is Jesse from the future. Um, well, not the future now, but the future of that. <laughs> and as I was editing this clip, I noticed that at this point, um, as I go into the cemetery of the Ringling family, the statue and the graves and my, like, all around me, it looks like it's glowing. And it's really weird. And I tried looking it up and I couldn't really figure out why it was happening. So um, I just cho choose to believe that it is a mysterious um, thing. So I wanted to stop you guys. I came all the way from the future to do this to tell you to pay attention to it because it's just really cool. These are the graves of Ida Ringling North, who was, I think, John Ringling's daughter, John Ringling and Mabel Burton Ringling. That's kind of cool, something that you don't see every day, the graves of one of the most famous circus people and entrepreneurs in the last century. And I like how they have these little benches so you could come visit them and read your book or something. Very nice. So I saw on Pinterest a little creation where they took some uh, crescent rolls and rolled up brie, apple, honey, and walnut in it. Um, and I didn't have those ingredients, but I had some very similar ones, so I improvised with pears, cream cheese, uh, almonds, and honey. And I've already taken a bite, <laughs> but it was really good. And I didn't even expect the cream cheese being there. That was a surprise. <laughs> Cause I couldn't see it, but it's seriously really good. Oh, good. We're gonna have to make some more so you guys can see like a non-bitten version. Okay, take another bite and act like it's your first bite. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. It's just just like your first bite every time. <laughs> hey guys, so I went to talk to a business about a job, but I accidentally went at the wrong time. Oh, we're just browsing. Uh -huh. So I actually, actually went to talk to them at the wrong time. So we just came to the mall nearby to uh, pass a little bit of time. So we came to Williams Sonoma and they have amazing knives. They have amazing knives. Birthdays, guess whose birthday is this Sunday? Get me espresso! Let's shop for your birthday present right now. You want yes. this one? Yes, I do. 
I will be a 24-hour movie-making machine. I don't need sleep. <laughs> you'll you'll have to be because your birthday <laughs> presents them. Yeah, seriously, you're going to get your $600 worth of stuff. <laughs> so we're going to a lot of stores oh, with house really things nice. because we're just visualizing our house once we buy it very soon on I the think beach. Should have these. I think you're right. They're soft. Oh, cool. They're like we're whimsical but fancy at the same time. Exactly. See. I'm really excited about picking out stuff for a house when we actually can buy one because it's going to be so much fun. And if any of you are homeowners, I'm sure you know what we're talking about. Look at this. It's a little song. Oh, how cute. No, seriously, that's one of the cutest songs. It is pretty darn <laughs> cute. <laughs> cute as a button, as they say. This is going in my office for sure. Found this, this favorite awesome. light. All right, guys, it's Jesse from the future again. So as I got to this clip, I realized that the answer to the ghost issue in the Ringling Cemetery was found in this very clip. If you guys can figure out the answer from the clip coming up, write it down in the comments. That's really cool. I, that's worth 120 or whatever it is. It's so hot, I can't even get near it. It's legit. That's really pretty. See, it uses, it uses practical lighting and also just for a prop as well. Mm -hmm. James is fun to go shopping with because he Whoa. cares about cool stuff. His secret key. <laughs> <laughs> and he has good taste too, so it's fun. I like this. My taste is impeccable. It's, I mean impeccable, <laughs> not good. <laughs> Those must be some very hot ghosts. <laughs> it doesn't fly. I'm just gonna have, let's just have a date in the middle of Pottery Barn. We came to Dillard's and I offered James Two options when we could go left or right. <laughs> I said, so what do you want to look at? Shoes or bags? <laughs> uh, he chose bags. Bags it is. Why'd you go with bags? Because I just like dropping stacks on you and buying the bags. <laughs> <laughs> but not shoes apparently. <laughs> that's second. Yes, that's less important. Look at that Nicki Minaj laptop case. Put salt all around that rim, 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 rim. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna get that for your birthday for your laptop. Do it. I'll be. Dang it, why did I give it away? Ooh. That's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. This could be like your wild thornberries like, backpack. I like it though. It looks good. A wild thornberries backpack? Mm -hmm. I could see a Eliza wearing that. <laughs> This is where we'll just come to a photo shoot, so we have ultimate props. This is coming. Oh. <laughs> it's like, oh, let's try this. That's such a good idea. <laughs> ultimate props for that idea. Oh, this one's cute. I haven't worn anything like that in a million years, but it's cute. This set. And that used to be my, um, like my first purse that I ever got when I was a teenager. That's funny. <gasps> Look at this backpack. That's cool. That is cool. I can see doing a really poppy color photo shoot with that. Yeah. That's fun. It's like kind of, um, feel it. It's like neoprene or something. Oh, it's like yeah. a little it's bit like, like water resistant. That's a cute one. I need to get a new giant bag because my laptop won't fit and so I bring my backpack and my purse. A little Betsy Johnson belt. I love that colored leopard print because it's like dark and it's unique. Like the shirt I'm wearing today. I know, I have a problem. It's how cougars are made. I know. Oh, look at these. Those are so funny. They're like little gumdrops. <laughs> I found a really good option for James's birthday. It's 
Dr. Johnson, his favorite. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Brat. What are you trying to say? Nothing. What? It's just it's a nice style. I mean. Let's see. How about spoiled flirt diva? Oh, you're two of those things. How does she Fabulous. know so much about me? How does she write these necklaces? <laughs> I love how the shell connects to that part. Hi guys, so I brought the camera so that I could film because I just went to talk to somebody about a job. So I wanted to tell you guys about that. Um, I'm in an alleyway right now. It's one of the weirder places to be vlogging and people look at you really weird. Uh, I parked here really quick because I just had to grab something from the job and um, I parked somewhere I shouldn't have. I came back and our new car is not starting. James is at the skate park filming for a commercial that he's working on. And so everybody's busy except for Yuki. I think he was taking a nap or something. I feel really bad, but um, he's gonna come and jump the car. So thankfully, I'm just gonna wait here. Luckily it's nice out. So I hope you guys are having a good weekend. <laughs>